Hey everybody, welcome to a new Artisan School video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Laravel Homestead on Windows 11. And Laravel Homestead is a development environment. It's actually a pre-packaged virtual machine based on Ubuntu. And it's got tools included like PHP itself, of course, but also it's got a web servant, got MySQL and a lot of kinds of cool features. So I'm doing this on Windows 11 on the latest development version. But the process is more or less the same for Windows 10. So don't worry if you're on Windows 10. Uh, there is a small bug on Windows 11 with virtual machines. Uh, but there's also a workaround. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, that bug might be fixed at the time you're watching this. So maybe you're already using a newer version or maybe the official version of uh, Windows 11. So what we're going to do is download and install VirtualBox, which uh, runs our virtual machine. Uh, we need Vagrant, which Homestead uses to manage that virtual machine. Uh, of course, we're uh, going to take a look at the Laravel Homestead documentation, uh, which has steps to install Vagrant and VirtualBox, etc. And then there is this link on the VirtualBox forum uh, that has a workaround for that Windows 11 VirtualBox bug. So let's get started. Let's start by downloading VirtualBox from the website. Let's select the Windows host, and after the download has been finished, let's run the installer. Let's click Next. This is fine, it's also fine. And let's uh, continue with the installation. Click on Install to install the virtual driver. And I don't want to start the application right now. So let's finish the installer and let's continue by downloading Vagrant. And Vagrant is a management tool for VirtualBox, which Homestead uses. So let's scroll to the bottom and pick the 64-bit version. And again, run the installer. Let's accept the terms and click next a few times and it's done i'm going to click on finish and then i need to restart my system so i'm going to do that right now after the restart i'm going to install homestead with this git clone command but there's one problem as we don't have git on this windows system we can solve that by downloading git bash which gives you a kind of bash environment on Windows. So let's go to the download page and select Windows. Let's run the installer. Click next. And I want an icon on the desktop. And then we're gonna click next for a long time. You can just use the default settings. So instead of viewing the release notes, I want to launch the Git Bash application. Let's make this somewhat bigger. And I'm gonna paste the Git clone command from the Laravel documentation, which clones the Homestead project in my user directory. So let's cd into that homestead directory and let's run git checkout release. This ensures that we are on a stable release. And after that, we need to initialize the homestead configuration. And we can do that by this init.batch file. So let's run it. And now there is a homestead.yaml file, which we can open with nano. So let's see what's in there. You can see the configuration of the virtual machine. So the amount of memory, the amount of CPUs and the virtual box provider. But there's also a key section. And with this key, we can log in into our virtual machine. So in a minute, we will create a key. Um, then there is a folder section which maps all of our projects, all of our code into the virtual machine. And we will create that folder also in a minute. So below that, there's this sites section which now has one site, homestead.test. And for now, I'm going to change this into code example app slash public. 
So what more can we find in this configuration file? You can find the services and the ports at the bottom of the file. And here are some feature flags. So for now, I'm just going to save the file and start creating a key. We can do that with SSH keygen. And this tool will ask for a location. We're just going to use the default. So hit enter and then hit end twice more to skip the passphrase question. So now we can finally boot up the virtual machine by running vagrant up. And this will create a new virtual machine based on our Homestead YAML file. Now it's going to download the image itself. And after that, it's uh, going to install some stuff. It's booting up the virtual machine. And then we have an error. And that's because we are using a development version of Windows 11. It will probably be fixed soon with an update for VirtualBox or Windows 11. But luckily someone on the VirtualBox forum got a solution for this. And the solution is turning off Hyper-V. So let's do that right now. To do this, we need to open the command prompt as administrator. So let's search for CMD and then run this as administrator. And let's copy the first command from the VirtualBox forum, which disables Hyper-V. Then there is also a second command which you might need to use. I'm going to use it so I'm sure it's completely disabled. So let's copy this second command into the terminal. It's disabling the feature and then we need to restart the system. So let's do that right now. The system has been restarted and one thing I forgot to do was to create the code directory. So I'm opening the git bash shell again. Let's make this somewhat bigger. And let's create that code directory, which is going to hold all of our projects. And when I'm opening the file explorer or the Windows Explorer, and I navigate to my user home directory, then here you can find that code directory that I just created. So here we will create a new Laravel project. So let's clear the terminal and let's go back into that homestead directory and run vagrant up to see if the virtual machine wants to boot up after we apply the workaround. So it's booting up the VM again and now Windows Firewall is asking me permission. So allow access. The virtual machine is booting and it's updating the system. So this seems to work. The system has been booted and let's see if we can SSH into the virtual machine with Vagrant SSH. And here we are, we are now in the best shell of our virtual machine. Let's run clear and see what's in this home directory. As you can see, there is this code directory in green and this code directory is going to hold all of our projects. So let's cd into code and run Laravel new example app to initialize a new Laravel project. So it's downloading all the dependencies with Composer. And while it's doing that, let's go back to the Laravel Homestead documentation to find out how we can access our example app from our Windows environment, from the browser. And we can do that by editing the host file. So let's copy the location from the Laravel documentation and open Notepad as administrator. Otherwise, we can't edit this file. Within Notepad, go to the File menu on the top and then choose Open. And then in the Open dialog, paste the host file location and hit Enter or click on Open. And this is our host file where we can map the IP address of our virtual machine to this homestead.test domain. So let's grab this from the Laravel documentation and paste it at the bottom of the file and save this file. And now Windows should know if you go to homestead.test in your browser that your project is being served by this virtual machine. So let's see if it works. Let's go to homestead.test. And there it is, our fresh new Laravel project. 